What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of career mode. This is episode number 72 and we start on today's stuff on the back of our big win over Schalke 3-0 in that game. Another clean sheet for Lambert who says thanks for all the opportunities boss I'll keep doing what I've got to do and as you can see right now he's the clean sheet leader in the Bundesliga right now and this guy man. I mean if we were looking for a replacement for Manuel Neuer we found him. He is unbelievable. The young French shot stopper in from Sevilla up to 88 overall now. And he'll probably hit 89 overall before the end of the season. He started off on absolute flames for me. Calmed down a little bit, don't get me wrong, since then. But I love the guy, man. Seriously, what an incredible shot stopper he has been. Clean sheet there against Schalke. I was looking for another one here in the first game of today's episode. Yep, first game of today's episode on the back of the win over Schalke. Mainz away from home and what a start as well. Seven minutes into the game, Victor Osimen opens the scoring. And whilst Lambert is going for the golden glove, this guy is going for the golden boot. It's crazy to think of his injuries this season. No one's got close to him in terms of goal to game ratio. He's not that far ahead in the race of the Golden Boot, but still the top scorer of the league. 16th in 17 games, and our Seaman opens the score, and we lead by a goal right before the break. Could have gone 2 0 up. Florian Vert's on fire right now, denied another simple save by Daniel Bentley, as it was still 1 0. But from the corner, it's whipped in. Graven Birch heads it on. And if you read the title, you're wondering how long it will take before you see this. One and a half minutes to be precise. Victor Osimen, 17 goals in as many games. And this one is the pick of the bunch. Yep, goal of the season from our Nigerian number nine. Graven Birch wins the aerial duel. And this goal reminded me of Ronaldinho for Barcelona. I can't remember who they were playing, but I'll leave a link to it because I'm sure the highlight will be on YouTube where he chested the ball and acrobatically flicked it over his head and passed the goalkeeper. I have to say, that was really cool from Ronaldinho. And I'll leave a link to it if you've never seen it before. It's an amazing goal. And that was amazing from a seaman as well. Normally for me, if I score an acrobatic effort, it's like a, it's like a first time strike, you know what I mean? Very rarely is it controlled on the chest and then turned in acrobatically. This time it was. That was incredible. Victor Osimhen bags his brace with the goal of the season before the break and then gets his hat trick 11 minutes after the restart as well. Yeah, it's going to be back-to-back -back wins for Bayern and back-to-back -back hat tricks. First for Wurtz, then for Osimhen. Sadly, we wouldn't get back-to-back -back clean sheets. Lambert couldn't keep this shot out from range and might do get, if nothing else, a consolation. Osimhen with the match ball though, with goals 16, 17 and 18 for the season unbelievable. I knew when I signed him, he was going to be our top scorer this year, but I didn't realise with the injuries he had, wasn't going to hamper him at all. Dude's been unreal this season, man. Absolutely incredible. Three to the final score. Big, big win. And we stay top of the table as we close out February. And right now, six points clear of Leipzig, eight clear of Dortmund, 11 games to go. Yep, i got to say, it's been a tough first season for Bayern Munich, but we've got a golden chance now to pull away. With favourable fixtures coming this month for March, Augsburg, Köln, and, uh, and also um, Darmstadt, I think it's Darmstadt as well. Um, we've got Leverkusen as well, don't get me wrong, that'll be a tough game there, but... This is, a, this is a really good chance to pull away from both Leipzig and Dortmund as well. We've already beaten Dortmund back to back this year. Leipzig away. We've still got to go to the Red Bull Arena. That's my most feared game in our remaining 11. But before we get there, we've got a chance to extend the gap and relieve some pressure. So heading into the following game here, I was thinking, right, look at those fixtures there in the Bundesliga. Those first three in March should be bankers. First game, Augsburg at home. If you watch my Bundesliga career mode with Armenia Bielfeld, last year you'll know these guys were the fawn in my side continuously but with Bayern Munich I was thinking sure we'll put the sword to him here at the Allianz Arena nice little streak great start to the game tune it up nine minutes before the break as Jamal Musiala doubles the scoring and then seven minutes before the break as we are still leading by two a chance to make it free Victor Seaman is just literally unbelievable he's a complete striker he's the complete striker because as rapid as he is and as clinical as he is he's also six foot one and really solid when the ball's not on the ground either i mean you saw the chest and acrobatic volley for the goal in the last game against mainz 
This dude is literally unbelievable. 3 0 by Munich whilst Augsburg would get a consolation just like Mainz did. We were never in any danger of throwing these points away. Bourgeois, a young French winger who's barely had any game time this season, but does come off the bench and make it 4 1, and that would wrap it up. Three goal cushion restored, 4 1 the final score. Another big win for Bayern, and I would say now this is our best run of form since the start of the season. Finally, Bayern Munich are clicking for the first time since the very beginning of the campaign when we went that long unbeaten run. Question is, can we keep it going? Following game, match day 25, trying to stay clear of Leipzig and Dortmund and pull away. FC Cologne at the Allianz. In midweek, we'll have the second leg against Athletic and Madrid. But holding on to a 4-1 lead, I thought I don't need to rest players for that one. We should be all right heading into this game with our starters. Get a big win and that gives good confidence for the visit of Simeone's side. Six minutes in, perfect start. Ryan Gravenberch opens the score and I'll be totally honest here. Shocking goalkeeper from the American Zach Steffen will take it. It's 1-0 Bayern and 90 minutes in, a chance to make it too. This time you can't blame the former Manchester City goalkeeper. Gravenberch doubles the lead, doubles his goal tally. It is Bayern 2, Cologne 0 and finally we are clicking. Question is, can we return of a clean sheet after a couple of games without one? Well, 24 minutes in... Almost gave it away. Yep, shot off the poster. I'm, I'm caught out so often this year with Bayern Munich playing a high line. Much more than we're not in the forest, I must say. But even so, we're still leading by two. Woodwork clipped. Clean sheet survives for now. And could we get our third goal? Well, as Cologne trying to pass out from the back, they give it away. Talk about those high presses all the time. You often see the AI make those mistakes. We get it back. And after a seaman, it cuts it back. Florian Burtz, a couple of games without a goal, back on the score sheet. 3-0, Bayern Munich, 28 and a half minutes in, points already in the bag before half time. So second half begins, leading by three. I was thinking just keep the clean sheet now. We're gonna get a win. Just keep the clean sheet. Sadly we could not. Yup, Lambert Street continues without clean sheets. Even so, 3-1. I knew we were still gonna be alright. And 18 minutes to go. Once again those high presses so effective now. Kadra wins it back, finds Adiyemi and Kareem makes it four. Yep, just like the previous game we lose our clean sheet but restore the three goal cushion. Kareem Adiyemi makes it 4-1 Bayern Munich. Yep, best streak of the season so far for Bayern Munich. Finally into the swing of things. And, you know, I, I, I knew this was going to be a challenging first season with Bayern, and it certainly has been. But those wins there see us extend the gap on Leipzig. And you got to say now, eight games to go. This is our title to lose now. Yep, we did so, so well to get ourselves into this position. You'll see the final league table at the end of today. So we extended the gap on Leipzig and Dortmund. If we don't win it now, I've absolutely choked it. Midway through the season, with our form stuttering and Leipzig catching up, you know, I was I was a little bit worried with them hot on our tails. But now, no doubt about it, we, we should have thrown this title away. But that means, can we also compete for the Champions League as well? Midweek, Wednesday night, Allianz Arena, Fletka Madrid. Oh my God. Yes! What a bad start that would have been. 10 minutes in, gave the ball away with the lit. Those high presses again. I talk about it all the time. Gives the ball away, but Lambert bails me out on the one on one, and we're still tied at 0 0. But Athletic only did three goals on the night. We knew they were going to come at us, and they found a goal to lead on the night soon afterwards. 27 minutes in, the former Red Devil and Ajax winger. Anthony makes it 1-0 and 4-2 over two legs. But I was thinking, do you know what? I think we'll be all right. I know we've had some bad losses this season, including at the Allianz. That big 4-2 loss to Leipzig, the 3-0 defeat at home to Stuttgart. But I still think we'll be all right. If we get a goal, that will surely kill them off and knock the stuffing out of them and then any kind of comeback. And it did. Kadra off the bench. Set up a goal for Adi Amy in the last game. This time gets a goal of his own to make it 5-2 and that would do it. Had a chance to win it as well. Seven minutes in to, uh, sorry, seven minutes to go to extend the winning run. Unfortunately, that would go in the game. Whilst we might not have won it on the night, we do win the tie. Final score, 1-1 at the Allianz Arena. But job done over two legs. Bayern are through. 5-2 over two legs and into the Champions League quarterfinals. I said our main problem this year is a lack of quality and depth. And you need that if you're going to win multiple honours in one season. The cup is already gone. 
but we do make it through in the Champions League, mainly courtesy of that big win in the Metropolitano. We're into the quarterfinals. We'll see the draw for it in the next episode in the Bundesliga. Nine games to go. The gap is now eight on Dortmund and nine on Leipzig. The Champions League, still a long way to go. But as for the Bundesliga, it's surely now ours to lose. But that will end this episode of Krimmer, guys. Big thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please do drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you for next time featuring the draw for the Champions League quarterfinal very soon.